Thanks for tuning in. Here are a few clips I stumbled upon recently that sent my brain spiraling into the void. Since Thanksgiving is around the corner, I thought it'd be nice to share something I'm having a hard time remembering. Buckle up because there are three new Thanksgiving Mandela effects. If you're from my original timeline, then you remember Thanksgiving always, always, always was on the third Thursday. I check this. Now it's showing that it's altered to be the fourth Thursday in November. Are you kidding? How many Novembers do you remember it landing on the 24th, 25th, 26th? Uh, that's usually when Thanksgiving is. Now it's the last week? What? Pilgrims are always shown as having a buckle on their hats. Now the buckles from all of the artworks are missing. And I am an art history student. I was of seven years. What? Third, the cornucopias, such as from Fruit of the Loom, not only have disappeared from Fruit of the Loom, but they've disappeared from all of the notable artworks of that time period. I vividly recall Thanksgiving always being on the third Thursday of November. But now, it's apparently the fourth. I'm a bit stumped, but because I don't think I have ever recalled a Thanksgiving in the past, that fell on the fourth week, and that's not the only thing messing with my mind. Pilgrim's iconic hat buckles, gone. I mean, really, if you asked me to draw a pilgrim, guess what I put on the hat? A buckle. A cornucopia from Fruit of the Loom, missing from history itself. This is the way I remembered it. It's like reality decided to rewrite itself. And I'm just here scratching my head. Reports of a red sky in Florida, not too long ago, particularly around Santa Rosa Beach, are bugging a lot of people out, and it looks really bizarre. Natural explanations suggest this phenomenon could result from atmospheric conditions, such as scattered light from heavy cloud cover at sunset, combined with high moisture levels or particles in the air. A similar effect is often seen after storms or in areas with significant dust, ash, or pollutant particles in the atmosphere. On November 19, 2024, weather conditions in the region showed overcast skies and possible haze, which can amplify these effects. The twilight time could enhance the redness depending on how sunlight scatters under these atmospheric conditions. But some observers connect red skies to unusual solar or cosmic events, referencing biblical or apocalyptic themes, or even suggesting extraterrestrial involvement like the mothership. Could there be an unusual solar phenomenon? While there were no significant solar flares reported for that date, such events have historically caused auroras and unique sky colors when charged particles interact with Earth's atmosphere. Similarly, the increased discussion of red skies often aligns with cultural or environmental omens. Okay, y'all, I don't know what's going on here, but it is red outside. It's red. Look at this. Why is it red outside? Why is it red? What is going on here? Is it the apocalypse? Oh my God. It's like five o'clock PM, like November the 19th. And it is red outside. That is freaky. It is so freaky. Oh my God look what the heck is happening here why is it red there's no sun is overcast weird now seems like ufo sightings have been increasing as of late and the skies are turning into an interstellar spectacle or a giant question mark. From double suns peeking through the clouds to strange lone black clouds hovering over the ocean, people are documenting phenomena that defy easy explanation. Add in reports of humanoid creatures in Nuevo Laredo and mysterious carvings on faraway islands, and you've got a recipe for intrigue or conspiracy. Could these sightings be linked to advanced military tests, extraterrestrial life forms, 
or something else entirely? As sightings increase and the Pentagon releases new UFO data, it's time to question what's really happening above and around us. Are these phenomena natural or is something more profound at play? Can somebody explain why the sun has got another sun, which looks like there, on the other side, and that's a big rainbow all the way round, and then, what was the other one, Dad? There. And then there's an, another bigger circle as well. What the heck is going on? It just stopped. It's looking at us, baby. Woo! You better move back. Why just stop? Oh. When they say don't look up, it means you should probably be looking up. Every day it seems like there's some crazy stuff in the sky and I have some other things to show you guys in a minute. What would y'all say that this is? We do projections, UFOs, UAPs, angels. I would guess a spiritual entity. The same with this one. But no, they're saying this is the country's new weapon, right? But what's funny is we used to see these in the sky all the time last year and they said it was SpaceX. So which one is it? Is it a new weapon or is it SpaceX? Yo, I'm pretty freaking sure that SpaceX is just to cover up the trail and the path flights of fallen angels. I mean, how else would they know when these meteors or devil's comments are coming? By the way, did you guys see the doomsday skies in Florida the other day? And this happened at the same time the volcano went off, but it also happened at the same time that everything's happening in the east right now. I don't think I've ever seen it so red outside. It has to mean something. And at the same freaking time, almost in Arizona, we had this. I'm telling you guys, something is coming. I don't know when, but I know it is. Extraterrestrial aliens. Is that what these carvings could be? They're found on a remote island in the Pacific Ocean, and they're over 900 years old. Yeah, 900 years old on an island in the middle of almost nowhere. So these carvings, and there's a lot of them, were made by people on an island in the Pacific Ocean called Nuka Haiva. I hope I pronounced that right. Over 900 years ago. And people really aren't sure what the carvings are supposed to be. Could they be aliens? Could they be something from the ocean? Could they be their gods? Could they even be their ancestors? We just don't know. Now that island, Nuka Haiva, if I pronounce that right, is beautiful. It's located right about there just north of French Polynesia in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And their population runs a little over 3,000 people while they do get tourists from time to time. But nobody outside of the area, at least, knows what these carvings are supposed to be of. If there were just a few of these things, I could see people thinking maybe it's artwork. But my question is, what do you think? Are these aliens? Are they sea creatures? Are they their gods? Or are they something else entirely? What the hell is that? Do you see this? What the fuck? The sky is purple. What? This is weird. What the fuck is this? I heard that Russia was uh, planning on like throwing a nuke at us or something.
at this you guys have you ever seen anything like this before a single black cloud just hovering off the water off the coast of mexico y'all this is early in the rising in mexico this guy's out here and he looks around he sees nobody but a black cloud just floating over the ocean remember what they just told us about uaps and extraterrestrials being in the ocean that's why they've been dropping them bombs in the ocean y'all they literally been going to war with our people our ancestors who live in the ocean but look at this <laughs> Fenómeno, una nube negra en pleno cielo azul. The sky is blue. Is the only dark cloud above the ocean right in the rising. Look, you see the sun is about to come up. Y'all see? That's incredible. Like, how do you explain that? How do you explain that? That literally tells you that there is something there. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. But what an amazing time to be alive, y'all. This is it for us, as scientists have spotted an angry biblical creature larger than a planet coming towards us from space, and they've been looking right at us. People were terrified after one man looked through his telescope to see an insanely bright light shining down, almost the size of our moon, radiating several different colors at once, and even appearing like a cross or a bright being descending. You can definitely see that it's changing colors. And I can see this even without looking at my camera. This gets creepier as the Bible describes in Luke 21, 25, the star of Jacob appearing in the night for weeks after disasters and wars before life ends. And this is exactly what scientists say will happen with this star. And our time on Earth is ticking, with many people saying the end will come much sooner as this comes right after scientists record hunting clips of the sky screaming and singing. And scientists cannot find a source for where this is coming from. <laughs> Other realistic theories suggest there is definitely a reason, and the star of Jacob in the Bible was never supposed to be taken literally. Breaking news! So you know that picture with Elon Musk and Trump, and they were like eating McDonald's? Well apparently, there's like this painting from 1721, it was made by this guy named Dietz Knudsen? Sounds German. But yeah, apparently this picture is from the 1700s, and it looks identical to the picture of Elon Musk and Trump eating McDonald's. And I mean, you could see these results are uncanny. I mean, this is like Simpsons level predictions. Everyone's placements the same. I mean, the, the hand placement, bro, hold on. Wait a minute, I just caught that, hold on. Look at the fingers, bro. The fingers are the same, bro. No, this is insane. I also couldn't find anything on the painter, Diaz Knudsen. All I know is the name definitely sounds German, but this is crazy, man. What, what to think of this, guys? Like, honestly, does this mean that we live in a simulation? I mean, is everything predicted at this point? Because I've seen a lot of like conspiracy theories and stuff like that, but never have I ever seen a picture from the 1700s resemble something from 2024 that well. I mean, they might as well have put the fries in the man's hand because this is insane. I've read in the comments that this was created by software like Midjourney, that there was no significant evidence of this painting existing. The veil between fact and fiction is yet again becoming more thin. The next video is probably an insect, but it could be fabricated as well. How did humans even make this? We are zooming in on a CPU of an iPhone. This is a human hair. That thing in the beginning, that was a human hair. Look how small this is and how detailed. Now, forgive me for not having knowledge of this manufacturing process, but how do they how do they make these? It's 
got to be with the machine, right? I mean, look, there's the hair. And look. Look at the level of detail. And we're all carrying these around in our pocket. And a lot of people don't really think about what goes into actually making them, right? It's pretty crazy. Somebody's got to let me know in the comments, like, if you work in manufacturing for this. But let me know. Seriously, I'm really curious. And of course, my algorithm suggests that I like creepy stuff. So let's close out the night with some creepy things. And as always, I want to encourage you all to check out their pages for further explorations. Have a good night. They were taking a video when they captured something horrifying. Late one night, a woman named Catherine Goodwin was partying with several of her friends when she decides to take a video capturing the moment. Little did she know fun would quickly turn to terror as Catherine noticed something demonic hiding behind her. <laughs> As Catherine records in a dark area, a ghostly pale face can be seen right behind her. But as she turns around, no one's there. Whatever this is seems to be touching her friend as the deceased looking hand is seen grabbing her shoulder. Now, this could just be their own hand captured in an awkward lighting, but viewers can't shake the feeling that whatever this was might have been a person who lost their life. From a strange looking mortified hand on her shoulder to seeing this behind her, what do you believe happened here? Out. Come on, man. Oh, I'm not fucking playing. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh. Mm, there's nobody in this fucking store, dude. I was freaking me out, bro. Ha, ha, ha.